very good morning and om shanti to all of you listeners welcome back to your own channel see the soul that truth lies within and today before we go ahead with the 251st day of our godly blessing for those who have come for the first time you can check out the link with various topics there are many many topics there are 300 plus 400 plus videos on this channel and the playlist has been divided into different different topics starting from your physical health to your mental health explore that for sure and let's go ahead with today's blessing what does baba have to say today <music> says may you die alive dying alive doesn't mean that you are hung or you are killed in some kind of process no it's not about that dying dying alive means you are living but in a different way the old habits have been dead the old thinking has been dead so you have a new birth so and gain victory over your physical senses with the awareness of your new life so when we have a new life, a spiritual birth, then we start gaining victory over our eyes, ears, nose, mouth, hands. Because before getting the knowledge, our karmas were very impure or not in alignment with what God wants us to do on this earth. The way we, he wants us to play our act on this earth. But now with the new knowledge, spiritual knowledge, our thinking, the way we look at things, the way we talk about things, everything changes. So now, May you die alive and gain victory over your physical senses with the awareness of your new life. Let's get into the details. You children who have completely died alive and cannot be attracted by the physical senses. Now slowly, slowly as we progress more into spirituality, we live in the world. We eat, we sleep, we drink, we move around, we roam around, we go for different uh, activities. But yet we don't get attracted by them. It's not like I can't live without it. That kind of feeling finishes. So in one instant you can be totally attached and one instant you can be totally detached from that activity without getting affected. If you don't get it again, if you don't get that comfort again, you don't cry about it. So Baba says, you children who have completely died alive and cannot be attracted by the physical senses. To die alive means that you have died to everything and that your old life has finished. This is spiritual life. We are eating, sleeping, drinking, same thing. You have not changed anything on the outer, but you are not attracted by the things which you had earlier. Earlier, You were dependent upon those things for your happiness, for your peace, for your love, for everything. But now it has changed. It's a paradigm change now. You are not attracted to those things. They, have, they are there or they are not there. It doesn't matter to you. So you are not attracted to them. So you are more peaceful and lighter. That is what God is trying to point towards. So to die alive means that you have died to everything and that your old life has finished. Since you have taken a new birth, that is a spiritual birth, once you get to know that I am a soul, I am not this body, then the transition happens. What is that transition? You can learn it at the spiritual university. Then Baba says, since you have taken a new birth, how could you be influenced by the physical senses in your new birth? And new life is like a new life. It's like a child who has been adopted by new parents, goes to a new home, has different habits to be learned in that house. So his old habits change over a period of time. He slowly, slowly transitions into the new house. Now God has called us into his new house, his new way of thinking. He's purifying our thinking. He's purifying our minds and removing lust, anger, greed, ego, attachment. So slowly all those habits, which obviously we were expressing through our senses, now it changes. It becomes more and more, more and more in control, more and more in godly alignment. We use our eyes hands, our ears, mouth, everything in godly alignment and our karmas become refined. So obviously there is peace in our life then. Then Baba says, in your new life of a Brahma Kumar or Kumari, it's not just Brahma Kumaris, it's Kumar, I am a Kumar and a Kumari. You are completely beyond the knowledge of what it means to be influenced by the physical senses. So we have to reach that level where we don't even remember what our old habits were, what things we used to get attracted to, how we used to get jealous or egoistic all those the knowledge of all that habit has to be totally removed you have to reach that level i haven't reached that level i'm moving towards that level and so can you so Baba says do not e let even the slightest breath that is any sanskar of the shudra that means old and negative habits shudra doesn't mean a low caste anybody in the worldly sense who thinks that they are low caste but they have higher spiritual thinking are no longer low caste so somebody who is born in a low caste as per the Indian ways 
has spiritual knowledge is a higher caste has defined ways somebody who has got defined ways of doing karma with ego jealousy hatred is the shooter no matter how rich you are whatever religion you belong to but god says if you got lust anger greed ego attachment jealousy hatred laziness in your activities then you are a shudra think about it so god says any sanskar of the shudra be stuck to you even slightly so do not let even the slightest breath that is any sanskar sanskar means habits of a shudra as you understood what is a shudra be stuck to you even slightly that is the aim and objective of brahma kumaris to refine us no matter which religion do you come from so do visit brahma kumaris center next to you it's a spiritual university you don't have to pay any fees over there and learn the spiritual knowledge for your own betterment have a blessed day and be healthy mentally and spiritually om shanti Thank you.